Layout templates are pre-built layouts that include various elements depending on its use. You'll find many themed templates for QSR and menu boards. These are set up with product tables as placeholders, where you can add products to the product library of your network, then add them to your menu layout. Use the drop-down menu to sort by free and paid content. Uncheck Assets and Widgets, and click Search to show only Layout Templates. Once you find the layout template you want to add, click on the Next button. If the content has a fee or subscription, you will need to purchase the content first. If content is free, click on the Add to My Network button. This will add the content to your layout section, where you can open the designer and manage content. There are a few ways of adding products to the product library. You'll need to go to the product library and use the Create New button to create new products or use the Upload or Download Products tab to download a spreadsheet first, fill out the spreadsheet, and then upload the spreadsheet back to that same tab. Let's talk a little bit about the spreadsheet. The product number can be left blank and the software will automatically create a number when the products are added to the product library. Or you can enter any product number, including letters. The product name is how the product will appear on the menu. For example, if the product name is in all capital letters, that's how it will display on the menu. Enter the price, just as numbers and a decimal. Type Yes in the Enabled column to ensure that the product is active. If needed, add a description for the product. When done, save the spreadsheet and upload it back to the Upload or Download Products tab by dragging and dropping it into the Upload box or click on the Upload box to locate it on your computer. Once the upload is complete, click back on the Products tab to review the products. In certain browsers, you may have to refresh the page. Now that the products are in the product library, you can click on any product to edit its name, price, description, nutritional information, or use the Enable button to turn the products on or off. Next, we'll need to add the products to the layout we added from the store. Go to the Layout section, click on the Designer icon to open the Layout Designer, double-click on the Product Table, Use the X on the right-hand side of each line to remove the placeholder products. Click on the Add Product button to open the library. Check the box next to each product that you want to add, and then click Apply when done. You can then rearrange the product, add spacing, and then click Apply to close the product table and review the menu. To create additional product tables, you can copy your product table zone by clicking on the Copy icon from the Zone layer in the toolbar. Once copied, double-click on the table to edit the products. To change the font style of your product table, each cell in the table will be independent and may have its own font style. Click on the cell first, click on the cell Style to open the style library, click on the properties of the font style to edit it, or Use the Create New button to create a new style. Once you've made changes or created any new styles, click Select on the style that you want to use. Then click on the Apply Table Cell button to save the change to that cell. This process can be repeated for each cell. Click on the cell, edit the cell style, and then Apply Table Cell. Additional cells and rows can be added to the table by using the Add Cell to Row and Add Row button. The Field drop-down will allow you to assign product attributes to each cell. For example, if we add a new cell where we want to show calories, we'll use the Add Cell to Row button, click on the new cell, use the field to select the calories attribute that we want to use, then click on the Cell Style to apply a style to the new cell. When we're done, we'll click on the Apply Table Cell button and then Apply to close the product table and review our changes. All the changes that you make in the Layout Designer will automatically save. When you want to make the layout live on your screen, use the Schedule icon under Layouts to select the layout. Select the player you want content to play on, then select whether to play the content now 
or at a future date and time. Check out the links below this video for additional knowledge base guides that might be helpful.